Content warning. Flashing lights and images, sudden change in images, screen distortions, blood slash gore, dismemberment, horror, murder, nudity, substance abuse, violence. This video contains spoilers for the game September 1999. 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Year, 1999. From the creator of OK Normal. That's about all the information I had going into September 1999 outside of the screenshots on its itch description. When it comes to horror games, I would say I'm somewhat easily scared despite loving the genre, so that time estimate with little information immediately raised my anxiety. In most horror games, there's at least that sense of ramping tension before you get outright scares, giving me some time to ease myself in. With only 5 minutes, I expected it would be non-stop jump scares. I mean, how else was it going to be horror? Thus, my first experience of September 1999 was less actually playing the game and more akin to making my way through a haunted house keeping my head down. I put my arm up to cover a good chunk of the screen. I heard everything and had the occasional glimpse of what was going on outside of what my arm could cover of the screen. You could see this in the footage when I'm moving without moving the camera. This is something I did a lot when I was younger usually with games that had creepy enemies or jump scares, as it let me experience things I would have been otherwise too scared to. In some ways it backfired since it made the experience scarier. I may have eased the jump scares, but I wouldn't completely understand what's going on, and my mind was left to fill in the blanks, blowing small occurrences into massive fears. Leaving the horror unexplained is often used in the genre, though in these cases were probably not intended by the author. Usually when a game scares me to the point that I'm covering the screen, aimlessly working my way through, that is usually how it will stay. Completing it once probably isn't going to make it less scary or not covering the screen, so that's how the game in question will remain in my memory. Except with September 1999, since the game isn't that kind of horror at all. So I actually played through the game again without covering the screen. The game is presented as VHS found footage of horrific events that occurred in a house during September 1999. You spend a certain amount of time exploring one room in a hall in the house before moving forward to another day in the same setting. The home setting in Confined Exploration is heavily reminiscent of PT, though September 1999 takes the format in a different direction. PT encouraged interaction with the environment for puzzles and concerned itself with cycles whereas September 1999 introduces a rigid structure. What results is a slow unfolding of grim events, surprising given its short length. The space is one that decays gradually, starting with the familiar before sliding into its grisly plot. Even with its initial domestic setting, you're still deprived of context and space. You're asked to piece together a cohesive narrative, though you'll never get a sufficient answer, as bits of audio and surroundings are what is offered. Even whose perspective the player views the narrative from is a question. This lack of information breeds anxiety, the horror never coming into full view, never being completely comprehensible. Its found footage framing clues the player in that the tale will be a disjointed one. The events will play out the same no matter what, the only difference being how the player spends their allotted time in each space. You are free to walk around and zoom in slightly on objects, push some of the bottles and cans around with your walking, but that's pretty much it. A lack of interaction suggests an encouragement to explore and examine, but that's stifled as well as objects of interest are exhausted rather quickly. Two rooms create a distinctly suffocating atmosphere, as you are forced to pace back and forth, trying to extract an explanation you'll never receive. As time seems to creep onward, the tape skips ahead, eventually unveiling the murder that takes place. It's gory, the chopped up person in a bedroom that was by all accounts average a few minutes ago. Strangely, that's not the source of horror in September 1999. It's that you'll never understand why it happened. September 1999 places you in an awful situation and forces you to sit with it. The scene you're in almost as static as the VHS tape it's recorded on. You watch as its narrative continues without concern for your actions ending in a few minutes before you can figure out the exact story. You're mainly left with a feeling of confusion and unease. 
almost as if you had been playing with part of the screen covered. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon or Coffee. Patreon is if you want to support me monthly, and Coffee is for one-time support. These videos wouldn't be possible without the generous support of my patrons and coffees. Any amount helps this channel keep going. Anyways, here's my Twitter, my Instagram, my channel link if you want to subscribe, and some other videos I've made. Well, that's all I had to say, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you around.